Spider plant or saga is another crop Kenyans can't get enough of. Naomi, ever aware of demand and supply, has set aside an acre for the vegetable. She harvests 600 to 700 kilograms per month. Not so bad. But she still has some challenges. My challenge here, especially when it is raining a lot and it's too cold, mm. we tend to have it turn yellow. When it's like this yellow, when we pack it through the packing bags, in the market in the morning you'll find them they have all turned yellow. Yes. So for me it is a loss because most customers don't like it when it's turned yellow. So that's the only challenge? It's the major challenge because you see when it turns yellow the business is over. Uh, when it's too cold or too wet you get a lot of uh, fungal disease coming in mm -hmm. and that's so you can see the yellowing part of her crop. Yeah, these are a fungal disease by the name downy mildew. Downy mildew. Yes, we have a solution for that. We have a product by the name Otiva. Otiva is a fungicide to control downy mildew. Okay. Uh, letter of application for Otiva is 20 ml in 20 liters of water. Remember to read the instructions on the package when using the product. And at what stage do I spray? Because you see this is a produce that grows really fast. And uh, within one month, I'm supposed to be harvesting it. Uh, you just need to have a program when mm. you have planted your saget. Uh, weekly or 10 days intervals, you can do your application. After three days, the crop is safe to be consumed or to be taken to the market. So from the planting day and the 10th day, I need to spray on the 10th day? After germination, you can. Uh, after two weeks, you can do the first spray. And then uh, um, after 10 days, you can only apply the product. What do I do about the weeds? Because also it's another challenge. You see like here it's grown in patches and the rate yes. at which here is grown it's not the same here and this is because you can see here there's less weeds, here there's more weeds. Exactly, looking at uh, the germination percentage for your crop in this area, so because the germination is good and uh, the crop is forming a canopy it, it smooths us the weed, so the weed will not germinate per se in this area. Okay. But where you have poor germination, in this case, because of those spacing, you find that the weeds, they are able to, to degrow. But what you can do before you prepare or before you plant your crop, mm. in this case, after preparing the bed, you can just water the beds. Yeah, you let the weed to, to come up, and then you can do a, a, a herbicide for that to clear all the weeds, and then after like a two weeks or so you can come back and plant your crop because this will reduce uh, the population for the weeds for the subsequent uh, season that will be coming. Because at this case uh, weeding when the saget is there mm. you find like when people are coming to weed they can uh, uproot a lot of your crop and you may lose a lot. Yeah. Aha! So Duncan's message is loud and clear. Control your pests and diseases but don't forget good farming practices in the process.